So have you ever dreamt of settling down amidst the rolling hills and tranquil rivers of the Texas Hill Country? Well, saddle up folks, we are traveling through the top 10 towns of this picturesque region. Perfect for your next home. Ryan Rendon, Rendon Realty Group, your favorite realtor right here in the Texas Hill Country. That's right, today's video, we are talking about the top 10 towns right here in the Texas Hill Country. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also that little bell so you can get notified anytime I put out videos just like this one. Okay, so starting off this Texas Hill Country journey is none other than Fredericksburg, Texas, the place I call home. So our town here in Fredericksburg is deeply rooted in its German ancestry, and it gracefully marries European charm with Texan hospitality. Walk down our historic avenues, and you're greeted by age-old architectured housing, modern boutiques, and gourmet restaurants, serving up both local and international flavors. But it's not just about the past, though. Fredericksburg is renowned as the Napa Valley of Texas, where vineyards sprawl across the landscape, offering a wine experience that rivals global counterparts. And should you feel the urge to go on an adventure, the beaconing trails amidst blooming wildflowers are just waiting to be explored. And living here, you'll find that the rhythm of life is almost a harmonious blend between the old and the new. And we cannot forget to talk about the real estate market here in Fredericksburg. So the trends in the third quarter of this year really indicate a pretty significant shift in the real estate market. Realistically, we started seeing the market slow down sometime around last March, April of 2022. But like I said, the numbers in Q3 of this year do indicate an even bigger shift in the market. The median sales price stood at 540,500, witnessing a significant reduction of 16.5% compared to the third quarter of last year. And this is further complemented with the amount of active listings that have come onto the market, which we saw a rise of 86.1% compared again to the same time last year, providing a plethora of choices for buyers. And just real quick, let me show you an example of what you can get for right around the median sales price here in Fredericksburg. Okay, so taking a quick look at the Oaks of Windcrest, we have this home at 908 Smoky Oak Drive, priced at 539,000. This is a three bedroom, two bath home with 1964 square feet, and it was built this past year in 2022. And as you can tell, it does have that open floor plan and appears to have plenty of room to spread out for those family gatherings. Okay, so let's go ahead and transition to number two on the list, which is Kerrville, Texas. Let's first start off by talking about the Guadalupe River, which is the heartbeat of this town. I mean, it literally goes right through the center of town. So whether you're looking to cast a line, paddle around, or just float the day away, the river's got you covered. Now, for those of you who have a little bit more of a creative side, Kerrville may just be a haven for you. They have the beautiful Museum of Western Art is a must visit showcasing our rich history and the Kurt Arts and Cultural Center keeps things fresh with local art and events. But it's not all just about the river and the arts. Downtown Kerrville has its awesome mix of old school charm, but also some new school spots. There's really a bit of everything from, you know, those unique boutiques to some of the tastiest grub you'll find in Texas. And let me tell you, Friday night lights in Kerrville football season is like none other you've ever seen. You know, it literally almost seems like a religion in Kerrville. High school sports, especially football, are absolutely huge here. The entire town comes together cheering on our student athletes, showing off that tight-knit community spirit. You know, living in Kerrville means being in a community that's really proud of its roots and celebrates every touchdown and always has something going on, whether it's a music fest or a local art show. You know, it's a place where neighbors are like family and there's always a friendly face around the corner. And that, folks, is what makes people absolutely love calling Kerrville home. Now, Kerrville's real estate market is a tad bit different from Fredericksburg's. So for the third quarter of this year, the median sales price was 365,000, marking a slight 2% decline year over year, same time as last year, but there was a 7.2% uptick in the amount of houses that sold. And if you're an active buyer looking to purchase a home here in Kerrville, there was a 37.5% increase in the amount of houses for sale comparison to the same time last year. So basically you have a lot more choices to choose from. 
And to just give you a quick example of what you can get for right around that median sales price, let's go ahead and take a look at this home at 211 Wedgwood Lane. And it's a completely updated home, as you could tell, but it's also a three bedroom, four bathroom home with 2,000 square feet. And you know, we haven't really seen new construction homes around this median sales price in quite some time in Kerr County, but this is kind of what you can expect. Homes right around this age, a little bit older, but that have been renovated and updated over time. Okay, so next up on our list is Wimberley, Texas. So tucked right in the heart of the hill country, Wimberley feels like that hidden gem you've been searching for. You know, in my opinion, it has that authentic small town Texas vibe with a dash of that elegant artsy feel to it. This bustling little market is your ticket to handcrafted treasures and a chance to support local creatives. And if you need to cool down during those hot summer months, you can take a dive into the Peter Niles River or the ever enticing Blue Hole. Both offer a splash of refreshment and that hill country view. And you absolutely do not want to forget about the Jacobs Well. It's got this natural spring that's both a beauty to behold and a thrill to dive into. And if art is your thing, Wimberley's absolutely packed with craft shops and galleries from the local talent. Now, if you're looking to buy a home in Wimberley, the third quarter showed that the median sales price was 573,000, which was right around a 16.8% decrease from the same time last year. And of course, a quick example of something you can get for that median sales price is this beautiful home on 54 Persimmon Drive, which is currently listed on Zillow for right around that median sales price. This home boasts a spacious layout with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and covers a total of right around 2338 square feet. So this home was built in 2023 and it offers, you know, that classic charm with a little bit of a, a modern comfort to it. So living in Wimberley means that you're, you're surrounded by nature, a tight knit community, and of course that creativity. So swing by there sometimes, soak it all in, and who knows, you might end up calling Wimberley home. Now let's go ahead and mosey on over to Johnson City, Texas. And for any of you history buffs, this one is for you. So Johnson City, Texas, the birthplace of President Lyndon B. Johnson paints a vivid picture of American history with its landmarks that transport you back to the yesteryears. Now, of course, it's not just about the history. The hill country landscapes here are utterly mesmerizing, particularly when the wildflowers bloom, painting the town into vibrant colors. And of course, all you nature enthusiasts are in for a real treat with the serene ambiance of the Pertinous River and the state park providing ample space for outdoor activities. And then beyond its natural beauty and historical significance, Johnson City does offer an impressive modern touch. The local art scenes thrive, adding a contemporary layer to the town's culture. And then you have the Hill Country Science Mill, which stands as a testament to the town's commitment to education and innovation, ensuring that the young minds have access to the wonders of science. Now let's go ahead and look at Johnson City's real estate market looking back at the third quarter. The most notable trend is the median sales price, which decreased to 376,000, marking a substantial decline of 27.1% since the same time last year. So while there was surprisingly no change in the amount of sales that took place third quarter of this year, comparison to the third quarter of last year, there was a 11.7% drop in the amount of inventory, which is kind of crazy because most of the rest of the hill country in Texas in general saw a pretty significant increase in the amount of houses for sale on the market. And then the inventory is so low right now in Johnson City, I can't even find anything even close to the median sales price. So honestly, we're gonna to have to go ahead and skip that because either everything is well above the median sales price or below it. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to skip that part for Johnson City. Okay, so next stop on our journey is Blanco, Texas. Truly embodying the essence of the hill country, Blanco offers an idyllic blend of relaxation and adventure. This shimmering Blanco River serves as a summer haven, inviting the locals and the visitors alike to take a refreshing dip or leisurely float, absorbing the serenity of nature. And then beyond the waters, the Blanco State Park beacons outdoor enthusiasts with its scenic trails and picnic spots. And then for all you craft beer lovers, the Real Ale Brewing Company offers awesome tours of the authentic Texas brews. 
Also, as you wander downtown, you're instantly transported to yesteryears with its charming antique shops and vintage architecture. But the crown jewel of Blanco has to be its sprawling lavender fields. The aroma fills the air, especially during the celebrated annual lavender festival, turning the town into a purple paradise. In Blanco, life is all about savoring that moment, cherishing life's simple joys and letting nature's splendor wash over you. Now, Blanco's real estate market did show a few noticeable signs of growth. With a median sales price of $383,000, up a substantial 17.9% from the same time last year, the property values seem to be on the upward trajectory, which is also a different story from quite a few of these other hill country towns. And for all you potential buyers and sellers, this indicates Blanco's increasing desirability and potential as an investment destination. So for right around the median sales price, you can get this beautiful home in the Rockin' J Ranch, which is a three bedroom, two bath home with 1900 square feet. And of course it has the open concept, high ceilings and all the modern finishes that most buyers are looking for. Okay, so this brings us to number six on the list, which is Marble Falls, Texas, where it seems like every day is literally a waterfront escape. So nestled beside the pristine waters of Lake Marble Falls, this town is a paradise for water enthusiasts. Whether you're revving up your boat, casting a fish line, or just simply soaking in the lakeside views with a picnic. Take a stroll down Main Street and you'll find a vibrant scene with boutique shops, local eateries, and coffee spots that make it the heart of the community. But there's more to it than just the lake. Nearby, you have the Balcones Canyonlands offering hiking trails and vistas that nature lovers dream of. And then, of course, the town's event calendar is always packed. From the adrenaline pumping Lake Fest drag boat races to the enchanting walkway of lights during the festive season, there's a sense of community and celebration year round. In Marble Falls, it's not just about living, it's about relishing every lakefront moment. And as of the third quarter of 2023, the median sales price stands right around 470,000, reflecting a modest increase of 5.6% since the same time last year, which of course suggests a steadily appreciating property value in the area, signaling that the demand for homes in this lakeside town remains high. If we'll ride around the median sales price, you can get a similar home to this one on 300 Limestone Street, which is a three bedroom, three bath home with 2222 square feet built in 2002. And as you can tell, this home has an open concept, but it could use a few upgrades here and there, primarily the painting, countertops, plumbing fixtures, and the light fixtures. Okay, folks, let's saddle up for the next town on our list, which is Lano, Texas. So this town's got the river, it's got the history, and some of the best barbecue you'll ever taste. The Llano River is a hot spot for all sorts of fun from fishing, kayaking, or just chilling. And the downtown, it's a throwback to those Western days with a slight modern twist. They have events that'll have you tap in your feet, like the Llano Earth Art Fest and the Fiddle Fest. And of course, let's not forget about those mouth-watering barbecue joints. In Llano, life's hearty, flavorful, and full of spirit. And when it comes to the real estate market, you're gonna see a pretty significant difference from the other towns that we've discussed today. And the, the real reason, the main reason behind that is the median sales price being 225,000. Which according to our Texas Realtors website, that was a 33.2% decrease from the same exact time last year. Now for right around that median sales price, you can get a similar home to this one on 507 West Ollie Street, which is a small three bedroom, two bathroom home with 1422 square feet. And as you can tell, this entire thing needs to be remodeled, but to be honest, this is pretty typical of what you're gonna find in Lano for right around this median sales price. Now, let's go ahead and talk about Harper, Texas, which captures the heart of anyone who's had the privilege to experience it. So Harper with its rustic charm and tight knit community feel offers a unique blend of tranquility and vibrant local culture. The town is surrounded by serene landscapes making it a haven for nature lovers and those seeking a peaceful retreat. All the local events and community gatherings reflect the deep rooted traditions and warm spirit of its residents. And on a personal note, I had the opportunity to live in Harper, Texas from kindergarten through seventh grade. And I tell you what, those are some of my most cherished memories of my entire life. 
It's really more than just a small town or just a place. For many, like me, it's a chapter of our life story. And then now going over Harper's real estate market for the third quarter of this year, the median sales price sat right around 415,000, which was right around a 38% increase from the same time last year. This upward trend in Harper's housing market shows the growing demand and potential appreciation in property values. For all of you guys who are considering a move to this town, properties close to the median sales price such as this new construction home on 472 Scott Branch Road offer four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and right around 1731 square feet, but no garage. This is a modern farmhouse style home which also sits on 4.3 acres, which is great. But this home's actually been on the market for quite some time now, and I think what they're gonna have to do is get more realistic with the price. So ultimately, I think it could end up selling a little bit closer to that median sales price, which is again, 415,000. Okay, so moving on to the eighth town on our journey today, let's talk about Hunt, Texas. So right off the bat, the Guadalupe River sets the scene in Hunt. You could think kayaking, swimming, fishing. This town's got the rustic charm down pat with places like the Hunt Store being a community hub. And it's also surrounded by some of the prettiest nature spots, rolling hills and dense forest. So whether you're renting a lodge for the weekend or settling down, Hunt truly is a slice of hill country paradise. Now talking about the real estate market in Hunt, it is quite a bit different than most of the other towns that we discuss in the hill country and in Texas in general, because you know it's such a small town and really there's not very many listings to choose from, so that really drives up that median price point for Hunt. And within the last three months, there's actually only been three houses that have sold within that hunt area, anything that's labeled with a hunt address uh, with an average sales price of $1.4 million. Now that doesn't mean that you can't find anything under a million dollars. I actually sold a house last year for 550,000. It was a new construction home with right around 1800 square feet, but those just do not come by very often. So for the most part, if you're looking to buy something in Hunt, you can expect the average median sales price to be pretty high, unless you just wanna sit back and be patient and just wait for something to come along. But like I said, for the most part, you're gonna be paying a pretty, pretty high price point for Hunt. Okay, so next we'll be stepping into Bernie, Texas, which feels like you're being ushered into an untapped tapestry of culture, tradition, and just natural beauty. Bernie is a gem in the heart of the Texas Hill Country, seamlessly marries its rich history with its contemporary flair. So cruising down Main Street is a treat for the senses. They have quaint little boutique shops displaying arts and crafts, and then they have galleries showcasing local artists and the wafting aroma of local eateries, enticing visitors with Texas and international cuisines. And then the educational institutions in Bernie are a testament to the town's commitment to quality and community growth. They're consistently recognized for excellence, making the town a magnet for families seeking the best for their children. But like many other towns we have discussed today, Bernie's heartbeat truly beats in its natural wonders. For instance, the Cibolo Natural Center offers miles of trails, bringing you close to the local wildlife and breathtaking landscapes, while the Guadalupe River State Park invites adventurous souls for kayaking, hiking, and camping experiences. And then throughout the year, the town square becomes a hub for activity, celebrating the deep German heritage and also contemporary art and music. And like many other Texas Hill Country towns, to live in Bernie is to be part of a thriving tight-knit community that values tradition, nature, and the arts in equal measure. Now let's go ahead and discuss that real estate market in Bernie. The third quarter of this year showed that the median sales price in Bernie was just under 460,000, reflecting a slight dip of 3% comparison to the same time last year, and in the active listings jumping 97.1% from again the same time last year, which could mean growing opportunity for you buyers. And then looking at this property at 7656 Larka and Bernie is priced right around the median sales price, and it's a four bedroom, three bathroom home with 2508 square feet, and it was built in 2018. There you have it folks, whether you're planning on retiring or just looking for a change of scenery, the Texas Hill Country promises a life rich in culture, scenery, and an unmatched Texas spirit. 
And if you're thinking about buying or selling anywhere around the Texas Hill Country, I would love to be your realtor of choice. All my contact information is above, but also down in the description. And make sure you watch this next video. I think you're really gonna like it. We'll see you in the next video.